Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant utility in Windows 10. So this utility basically allows you to run tests and troubleshooting options to resolve problems on your computer. So this is very similar to other iterations that have appeared in earlier versions of Windows like the help it tools and whatnot in Windows 7 you can download from Microsoft's website so this is very reminiscent of those tech tools so you could just download to more specifically resolve issues you may be having with a wide variety of issues you download the tool for it and then hopefully it's able to resolve it and they actually were troubleshooting options in Windows 7 that did resemble the option to be able to download it from online but they have since been discontinued with newer versions of Windows. However, this tool seems to bring some of these options back. So that's what we are going to be focusing on in today's tutorial. And we are going to start this video off by opening up a web browser because we are going to need to download this from Microsoft's website. And interestingly enough, this is supported on Windows 7 through Windows 10 as well. So it's pretty versatile. And once we're on this page here, so we're going to go select the download button and once it's done downloading it's a pretty small download we're going to go ahead and run that select run for the security notice and generally speaking this covers a lot of office and outlook problems however as we go through it you'll see there's a lot of different options we can go and work with in here and this will install onto the computer as well so there will be an option in the start menu to access this in the future so again we're going to go install this
And once that's done, it should launch the application, but you can also search for it in the start menu as well. We're just going to wait for it to load up here. And there might be a user license terms here. We're going to go select I agree. And there you go, guys. So we have a variety of different tools that we can work with here. So like I said, a lot of them are geared towards Microsoft Office applications. And you can see Microsoft Teams in here as well. We have OneDrive, Dynamic 365, Outlook. We have something for a mobile device syncing as well. Skype, how can we forget that? as well as different Windows activation issues here. So just because this might sound a little more interesting, let's just select Windows here and Next. And you can see that again, it looks like it's primarily dealing with the activation problems, which isn't really what necessarily our focus is in this tutorial, but you can see that it gives different recommendations here. So if we were to cancel out of that, you'd have to reopen it to go through the other options here as well. And let's say we had an issue with Office. You can select Next. And again, it looks like a very common troubleshooting options that we've seen before in other versions of these troubleshooting utilities. But it's definitely interesting to see different options and you can go through and fixing your problems. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.